Hey there, I'm Brian Phillips from Swell Guy Customs and I'm gonna show you how to cool down your vans with this Sherbert Pattern Custom. The Van Skate High is one of my favorite shoes to custom, specifically because I like to incorporate my customs into the design of the shoe and not just treat it as a blank canvas. With the Skate High, you have a really good design of the front toe and tongue, the back heel, and right in between that you have a nice little picture frame that you can put in whatever design you want. And since summertime is coming, I thought it would be really cool to use one of my favorite summer treats, the Rainbow Sherbet Ice Cream. So today we're gonna put a nice sea green on the outsides and put in that nice rainbow mixture right on the inside to give it that great Southern California summer look. So the first step on working on the Van Skate High Custom is to prep the leather. We only have a little bit of leather on this wave right here and on the inside of the shoe. So it doesn't take a lot of prep, but we still wanna make sure to do that because paint is gonna get in the, on those areas. So now that we're done prepping the leather, we just have to mask off certain areas of the shoe that we don't want paint getting into. For today, it'll mostly be on the midsole and on the Vans Wave. So with the Vans Wave, you can just lay down some masking tape over it and then just use the X-Acto blade or any sort of razor to kind of cut it into shape. So now we got our shoe all masked up. It's time to apply some paint to the heel, toe, and tongue and right outside the eyelids. For that, we're gonna take our talents to South Beach. So when applying paint to canvas, it's really important to make sure your paint is mixed really well with Angelus brand Too Soft. A lot of times when you just apply paint straight to fabric, uh, once the paint dries, it gets hard and the structure of the shoe or the structure of the fabric will change with that. Too Soft avoids that from happening. It keeps the shoe in the same shape, same flexibility as if you wore the shoe right off the shelf. So now that we're done applying the South Beach with Too Soft, it's very important that we hit it with a heat gun and heat set it for about four to five minutes. That way the paint dries into the fabric and it keeps that soft fabric texture. For the sherbet pattern, we're going to mix three different colors. We're going to do about three parts white to one part South Beach. We're going to do about three parts white to one part raspberry. And then we're going to mix one to one buttercup and yellow with a little bit of white as well. With those three colors, we'll also mix them with two soft so that they apply to the fabric. When starting the sherbet pattern, I like to start with the South Beach mixture that we made. You can choose anywhere on the shoe to start. With Sherbert ice cream, it's pretty random, so there's no definite sequence pattern that you have to do. You can just kind of apply it in sort of like a wave shape and start from the bottom, just kind of work your way up. And we'll just apply the raspberry mixture. So before we add in the orange, we're gonna take the aqua and pink colors and just alternate back and forth between the two different colors until they sort of blend together into one color meshing between the two of them. It's important to work on this blending while the colors are still wet so we don't have to let them dry in between and we don't have to really give them time to soak into the fabric. We want it to still be wet before we put in, uh, hit it with the heat gun. For the next step, we're going to be painting the inside leather, that same South Beach green as the outside, and this will give it one complete look. And because the inside is leather, we don't need to add too soft to it, we can go straight from the bottle and just apply it inside. 
When I'm done painting my shoes, sometimes I like to go over the shoe and look for any problem areas where I might have gotten a little paint here or there. And for that, I can use some Andrelis brand spot remover and a Q-tip and you just dip it in and sort of rub it in the areas that will remove the paint without ruining the work that you just did. Now for the final step, we're gonna take that same sherbet pattern and apply it to the tongue tab. I mean, my favorite thing about just sneakers in general is when they design them and they're full of little like details. So when I do customs, I kind of try to incorporate the same thing. It just brings everything together. To finish off every custom, I like to use the Angelus brand acrylic finisher. Today we'll be using the matte finish on the inside leather and the Vans Wave. So the only piece left for these customs is some laces. And for that, we're going to use some Lace Lab Premium Waxed White Laces. All right, there you have it. After some too soft, a little bit of blending on the side, we have ourselves a nice new pair of custom Vans. This is a simple custom that you can do to make your shoes look fresh and refreshing for the summertime. With this Sherbert pattern, it'll look like it's right off the shelves at Vans. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you can follow me at Swell Guy Customs on Instagram and Facebook. And you can also check me out live streaming on Twitch at Swell Guy Bri Bri. From all of us at Angelus Brand, Thanks for watching, see you next time.